told me not to sell work. Mama, 17, 5, same color t shirt. White. Mama told me not to sell work. Mama, 17, 5, same color t shirt. Welcome back to my channel and as you can see my eyes are already done this is all the eyes that I did for my last tutorial so if you guys want to see that tutorial on how I achieved this sunset eye then I will leave the link to that below but this video is going to be on how to properly highlight and contour your face um, I think I'm pretty much just going to do kind of like a voice over with it i'm not really going to talk it through because that's just going to take too long so i want to make sure that um i have the clips sped up for you guys so you guys can um pretty much see what i'm doing and this is just pretty much just an update on how i am highlighting and contouring i'm kind of reverse highlighting and contouring and you guys are going to see how um i'm doing my highlighter and contouring now i usually just stick with a liquid highlight and then do a powder contour but I decided I wanted to just switch some things up and just kind of work with the liquid contour and of course set that with my powder contour and um, you guys are going to see my updated highlight and contour so I'm so excited so um, just continue to watch this video and I hope you all enjoy don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe please share this video to your friends so they can learn how to highlight and contour as well and achieve this beautiful eye that I'm going to link down below and I'll talk to y'all later all right let's get started and i am taking a flat brush with my la girl pro concealer beautiful bronze and i'm just forming a line around my jawline and i'm moving the product upward and um this is just going to serve as a base for how i am going to blend out my contour also as you can see i'm not applying the contour around my full forehead just around the sides and i'm making sure that um I sculpt my nose how I like it. My nose is very fat, so I want my nose to be um, slimmed down a bit. Next, I'm using my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm making sure that I blend out my contour upward and in a circular motion and then after that I am going to use I was using an eyeshadow brush to try to blend out my nose contour but it wasn't really working for me so I did have to go and use my beauty blender to um, blend that out Next, I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Pure, Pure Beige, and I am basically forming that upside down triangle. I'm also going to go back up under my under eye because I want it to be really bright, so I'm going to use my NARS. Then I'm also going to highlight up under my nose. This is uh, what is most appealing to me of how I like to highlight, and then I'm doing a small V on my forehead and also on my chin. And I'm making sure not to connect the line from my nose to my forehead. And you guys are going to see why later. I'm also making sure that I reverse contour and apply some highlight to the side of my nose using my NARS. Next, of course, I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend on my highlight. And I'm making sure that I don't blend too far over. I mean, very, very precise with this. And I definitely took my time when it came down to it. Ladies, please take your time with different techniques that you may try. And um, I made it sure that I blend this out evenly and seamlessly. I'm taking 
taken my Airspun Neutral Light Setting Powder and of course my Damp Beauty Blender. And what I'm doing at this point in time is I am pressing the powder into my face. I am not going to bake with it, but I am definitely pressing the powder into my face and making sure that my highlight does not budge and does not move. Now where I am going to bake is at my nose point. I had a lot of trouble with doing contour and highlight with my nose and my highlight budging. So I figured that I would just bake my nose and press the powder into the rest of my face. And this worked so well for me. Next, I'm taking my Real Techniques Contour Brush and I'm applying my Ruby Kisses Contour Powder Kit. And I'm making sure that I apply this powder in circular motions and fuse it into the edges of the setting powder. And of course, I'm going to take my same eyeshadow brush and I am going to make sure that my contour powder is fused into my the edges of my setting powder as well. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques face brush and I'm going to make sure that both of my powders are wiped away seamlessly and both of them flow together. And then I'm going to take my City Color Timeless Beauty highlight and apply that this was very subtle for me at this point and I just really wanted to be glowed up so I went back with my makeup revolution and I topped it off on top of the city color highlighter and baby listen this was bomb you see the last tidbit of ColourPop Saturday which is my favorite lip then there goes my favorite set and spray Gerard and green tea and this is the end of the look I definitely hope that you all learned something I hope that you all love the finish of this look all I can say is blend baby blend blend for your life honey and I'll see you all later ciao